Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Steven Inks, and today we're talking about a short pen. I know what you're thinking, didn't we just talk about a short pen recently? Yes, but it's a different short pen than the other short pen we looked at, and it's kind of short in a different way. It's short and squat, it's the Jinhao 82 Mini, and if you look at it, that is a very mini pen. Um, and it's wide, it's a kind of a funny looking little guy. Is it something that uh, is too weird to be used for art and writing and all the like? Or is it a surprising gem um, among all the other pens that kind of look like a Sailor Pro Gear Slim? Let's be honest. Um, well, we're going to check, check it out and we're going to find out. So uh, stay tuned. Here we go. The pen arrived in a little plastic case and already... I gotta say, this pen looks kind of, I don't know, silly? Is that the word? It's just so short. It's actually, the cap is actually longer than the body of the pen. I love the colors, by the way, though. We've got, it says, just like the other, um, the other full length uh, Jinhao uh, version of this pen, the 82, um, you can see it says Jinhao across the front. If I had it in camera, you could see that it says Jinhao across the front. Nice, subtle gold letters. Um, gold band. In the back, there's another band. And uh, a clip. Keep coming out of the frame, which is hilarious because this is a tiny, tiny, tiny pen. Um, yeah. Let's see how much this comes apart. All right, I've opted for a Jinhao medium for the nib. Let's see if we get that to focus, there we go. Um, just wanna try some new things. Recently tried a double broad and I found that I could make an interesting art with that. So what's a medium like? Got that rubber O-ring right there and I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that being there. This is on the um, the Sailor Pro Gear Slim as well, that you just tighten it and you can feel it just like squeeze in. It makes it feel really premium. Now, there's no way on earth I'm drawing a drawing without this pen cap posted. It might even be a little bit small posted. Um, oh, this comes apart back here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Oh, I remember, I forget which pen it was, but um, I think it was, oh yeah, it was that pen that I didn't like from a Chinese company, the, the Kaigalu um, something forgettable. I thought it would be really cool if the back end cap actually made it possible to uh, utilize the, um, the, the converter. And I think you can with this one. Oh no, you totally can. So you could technically take the back, uh, the, the end cap off of this and it is friction fit. And you could fill the pen without taking the body out. So that's, that's fun. Um, and I, this does look like a, a much shorter than average converter, reasonable. Um, guessing a standard international. So I might be able to put my, um, my, uh, my Caveco uh, mini converter that I couldn't use on the mini brass and put it in there. Um, I think we should try that. So let me grab that real quick. Here it is. Um, it would need to be, I think that's gonna fit. We're gonna check that out. Uh, and this Jinhao does use standard international cartridges and converters, so I think that this might work okay. Um, capacity wise, we're looking at this being a little bit shorter than what the uh, Jinhao converter can do. So I think we're pretty solid. Ooh, you know what? This doesn't fit. Oh, the mouth of this is much wider. You can see it. So this isn't a standard international cartridge. Interesting choice, Jinhao. Don't know how I feel about that. Um, but a couple size comparisons here. Um, gonna put this back on. Nice tightening. 
the rubber o-ring does a lot uh, something that is a shared quality on this pen as well as this pen into frame Stephen. into frame um, which these two are the same size this pen right here cost uh, about a hundred and thirty dollars whereas this one cost a little over ten and this is a similar price I think uh, for the quality of what you've got this is actually a really good bargain for both of these pens and even I would say that the Sailor is a good bargain too because it's just a, a fantastic pen and well worth the price again in my opinion um, take that out of the way because we really want to compare these two the cap is exactly the same size the body looks like just a hair shorter um, by about the length of my thumb I want to say that's about an inch or so um, that's what's like four centimeters if you're uh, in a different country I try my best to be metric it's uh, it's hard for me it's hard to unlearn your habits so um, posted however you're gonna see still um, that the uh, the short Jinhao is going to still be shortened by about not as much but it does look like it's about the same height difference there maybe three quarters of an inch so that will be what uh, two and a half three centimeters uh, something like that um, holding this in my hand though just cap this guy and put him off to the side um, no it's not bad it's fine yeah I, I think that I can comfortably write with this um, but I, I still gotta say like with this thing capped it just it is it does look a little bit silly. I love the color scheme, by the way. Uh, I think this one was called Steel Gray. Um, and it's it's a beautiful color and paired with the white and the gold is just fantastic. I kind of want to see if Jinhao makes the, the full size 82 um, in this color scheme because I might like, I might enjoy having that. Uh, yeah, so and then I have the extra fine for this one and I have the medium and a viewer of this channel also sent me a few day and so in the future we're going to pick whichever of these two pens I like the most and uh, we're going to put that few day nib inside and see what that's like. But um, for now, let's ink up this baby and see what she could do. The ink of the day is Kuiper Belt by Colorverse. It's a fantastic kind of um, warmish blue black color if I remember correctly and if I don't um, I guess we'll just have to deal with it but I remember loving this color um, and I think it's a good match for the um, that sort of warmish gray blue color that we've got for the um, the pen here so I think that's going to be a good match. I'm going to try this and I think it's, I, 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 I'm kind of excited about this. I'm a little bit pen nerding out and I don't know why because it's not that much more convenient, but we're just going to see, is that too close? Yeah. I'm just going to raise my camera up a little bit. Sorry for some shakies. And I'm going to turn this. It's turning. This is very, I'm actually very nervous about this because I don't think I actually ever want to really fill the pen this way because I cannot see what's going on. And that's weird. But I just kind of want to know if it's possible, if I can do it. Then later we'll talk about if I should. Um, I think the answer is no, I should not. But what is the question? Um, with this being cleared of any extra ink, hmm, this white section does look like it might, no, it cleaned off pretty well. I thought it was going to stain. Um, I'm just going to put the end back on here and we're just going to check on this uh, pen on the internals and see if it actually did fill with ink. Oh, it did! That's fun. All right, so sneaky way to fill your pens. 
and um and worry i guess i don't think i would ever actually do this but it's it's interesting that someone finally made that feature that i kind of always thought would be interesting if a pen had um i guess that basically turns this pen into a sneaky um piston filler because you can take the blind cap off the end there and fill it um interesting weird what a quirky little pen all right, um, we're gonna take this super small pen and we're gonna do some super cool drawings with it. Need to do a few test lines with this pen and see how it's rocking. Um, first of all, when I cap this, I already said this, very short pen, but just shy of being uncomfortable. And the width of the pen is very similar to um, a Sailor Pro Gear Slim or a, the full-size Jinhao 82. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't hate it. Looks weird though. Um, so this is once again um, a medium nib wow okay looking at that up close we've got quite a lot of um width here and it keeps up the feed the flow is really good i feel almost as um should I say concerned? I don't think that's the right word, but um, hmm, not worry, sure where to go with this compared to the um, this plus the the double broad nib that I showed off a little while ago. It seems like you can do a lot with this, but at the same time, it also seems like uh, you're gonna have to hold back on some of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna leave these three D shapes right here. But I need to go back and do. Okay, I got a little bit of line variant here. Let me do a little bit of checking. So you can get this nice, wide, thick line. You can also get a very thin, faint line by doing it lightly. Um, this is, oh. The reverse writing kind of looks like um, like a Jinhao Fine. If you look at that, you compare that to that, and you can see kind of the range that you can get here. Um, you know, just worth noting, uh, just some hatching. And I wouldn't call the reverse writing smooth. I don't feel like reverse writing ever is smooth, and I don't think you should depend on reverse writing for um, writing for drawing a a drawing. If you if you are doing that, you should probably go a nib size uh, smaller for your next pen purchase. Um, but it's nice for getting yourself out of little detail situations that you don't feel like um, your regular forward writing is going to cut it. So I actually feel like this. The M nib here gives me a lot to work with. I mean, if you look at what we've got going on here, we've got some very thick lines, um, thicker than I would probably use in any of my normal drawings, and then some very middle of the road, and then um, we have some fine stuff that you can do. So all of this is looking looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to make this a rectangle because I went too far here so still the same basic shape just kind of elongated out yeah I'm enjoying this it does like the length of this pen gives me this feeling of like oh is it too it's, it's not too short, but it feels like it should be too short. So my brain is getting a little bit freaked out thinking that I'm going to need more length when, I mean, I can go a little bit further back, like right about there. And it's still pretty comfortable. 
And if I'm up right on the edge, and if you hold your pens like this, you probably won't have a problem with a pen this size. Um, but it's something about the visual of it is making me think that I should be uncomfortable. And I don't know why, but just it's getting me psychologically, you know? But um, it's a solid writer or a drawer or a line maker. What do you call that? So I do find this is a very usable pen, can make all the lines, and the Jinhao medium nib is not as restricting as I thought that it might be. So all around, we got ourselves a winner. The aesthetics are the only thing that might push someone away, looking at something like this and saying, ah, it's a pen. Maybe you think this is cute. Maybe you think this is hideous. Um, that really is what the question remains for you. Um, I'm ready to draw with this thing though. So, uh, the drawing here was a little bit inspired by the color of the pen. It seemed like a really nice, uh, color for like a rock or a mountain face or something like that. And I thought, what if a mountain had an actual face? And I came up with this idea of a little rock fellow and um, I thought maybe he might be in school. So I tried to draw him as a, a young person, but too many cracks and uh, wrinkles and edges and it made him look like he's an old person. But old people can go to school too. Uh, I spend most of my time at a school. I know I'm teaching, but I learn a lot as well. So um, maybe this guy is me. Um, a little bit of a, of a rocky uh, history in education you might say. Um, anyway, this was really fun to do like the textures and all of this, um, different surfaces, shading, and I didn't feel that the pen held me back in any way. Um, it actually helped me simplify some of my lines and make some shapes a little more clear. Um, I did feel a little bit like with the medium nib that shading was hard for me to commit to because I couldn't um, do lighter tones in between and so I, I just really shaded the parts that I thought should be really dark um, which you could see in the video anyway it was a really fun vi um, drawing to do and uh, I hope you enjoy it um, uh, that's kind of all I have to say about it anyway the, the pen worked really great through the whole thing so that's awesome All right, so final thoughts on this pen. Um, it's a very small pen. It is a very, very, very small pen. Is it comfortable to hold? Actually, surprisingly, yes. It's very well featured. It's not any cheaper or more expensive than the full length version of this pen, which by the way, is still a very pocketable pen. So if you, don't want something that's nice and doesn't break the bank. Uh, the Jinhao 82 by itself is quite fantastic. If you're, I wouldn't recommend the uh, 82 Mini for someone who's just starting out with their fountain pen collection and wants a solid writer that has this kind of form factor um, that you could pretend is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim because that's, let's be honest, that's what we're really doing here. Um, I would recommend the original for that purpose. But if you've got a lot of pens and you wanna try something mini and weird looking and you're wondering, is this gonna look super weird when I'm holding it in my hands? Yes, it is. Um, this is so strange. Um, but if, you, if you're into that and it's strange in a good way, it does work really well and it's well made. And uh, I can't imagine that um, I wouldn't, let me, let me rephrase that. I imagine that I will be using this pen um, just offhand while I'm going through life and doing stuff. So it's a, it's a very pocketable pen. It's a very useful pen. It's a very well-made pen. So I, I do recommend it, uh, if you've already got the other one, because the other one is, uh, I, I think the length is giving it, gives it a little more usability.
So take that for what it what it is. That's um, all I've got to talk about today. I hope uh, you will uh, like and subscribe to these videos if you find them to be helpful, if you enjoy them. Um, I do have a website, stephenings.com, where I host my, my book, What Kind of Pen Is That? And uh, you can download it for free. So go check that out. All the links to everything are in the comments of this video. Um, in the description of this video, and please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this pen if you have it, uh, if it's something you'd ever consider buying. If you think it's as weirdly short as I do, um, let me know, and I'll uh, talk to you next time.